Hi guys. Welcome to uh, day 12. Day 12 of 21 days of self-love. It's me here. Miriam coming to you live from my car. I'm actually on my way to work. Today is Friday. I work in the pharmacy today. I'm still a pharmacist one day a week and I, and I like that. But um, yeah, this couple of days, I just, I don't know if you would cut the live yesterday. I've been feeling a little down. I've been feeling not my so grateful, lovely, you know, bubbly self, which I think is my norm usually. Uh, and you know, like I said, this whole past year, say hi if you come on live, because unless you type, I don't know who's live with me. But I'm just going to be raw and real today. I have about five minutes before I go to work. But um, yeah, I've been feeling low, like really discouraged, you know, like, uh, you know, the putting myself down and uh, feeling not good enough, you know, as um, um, maybe, I don't know, I'm, I'm not going to go too into it. See, it's hard to be raw and real. Fuck, it's hard to be vulnerable. And this is the topic I want to talk about today is allowing yourself because you know if you allow you get emotional and you get teary-eyed and you seem weak and you seem uh you we're so afraid of letting other people see our emotions and and um because they we think they're gonna judge us just as harshly as we judge ourselves which is not true so that's why um allowing ourselves to feel you know to actually feel our emotions to feel vulnerable to let ourselves cry um, and it doesn't really have to be in front of other people but if you can be witnessed uh, in front of like a safe space and I consider this group a safe space um, even though there's like 250 people in there almost well 260 but you know it's still I'm hoping I'm, that I've created a space where you can let go and allow yourself to just be raw and real and speak from your heart and and because that's where the shifts happen you know see and I feel it myself I feel a lot of emotion coming up bubbling up in um, in my heart and um, you know and, I, and I've been through this healing journey where I allow myself to really really cry to really really let it all out and I usually um, do it when I'm journaling at night when all the kids are and I'm sending you love